let's go guys because today i went to the store and uh i wasn't expecting but i found um laser beak and ravage for sound wave put this over here to the side and then i found springer which i was very happy when i got saw this guy so i had to grab him immediately but i got i found springer i got him which i was really happy to see this guy so I got this guy going, and then I got Chromia, which uh, I just like her sculpting, as you can see right there. But, putting her to the side, because we're about to open him up. Oh. First things first, get the, the royal blade. Slice and dine, slice and dine. Voila. And we should have lift off. Unless it's gonna be a pain like every other box that has a little pads on the inside. Show the inside of the box real quick. Nice box art. I like that back. Now on these boxes, there's something. Um, I'll show you, but yeah, see it. You see it on right there. It's right here. The glare. You see it right there. The glare. It has like weird symbols and everything on it. You can see them right there. It don't show up on the box, but it's there. I guess that's their, uh, their language or whatever. And, and down here it says, uh, you see it, Autobot. And then it says Transformers. Yeah, see, it says Transformers right here. I have to get it, like, right there. Yeah, see it, Transformers. Yeah, there's, like, these weird hidden messages I found on this guy when I was getting them, but... Overall, we're gonna push this. We're gonna pause the camera for a second. All right, how to get closer? So. Move these guys out of the way. All right, let's go ahead. Go in. I was really happy to find this guy. I was trying to figure out where they were. I believe that's all the uh, plastic taboos. I'm just going to get them out. <laughs> People and their child perking. Alright. It's really right, there you go. And then his half or knock him down. Oh okay. I get the plastic out of the way. Get his weapon back up here. Okay. So far, um I guess this uh yep kind of figured that much so he comes with a, a lot of weapons and then i guess those go in like that voila that's why you get the spin jiggeroo we <laughs> but then it all pulls apart the mega swords we'll get into that in a second a minute. I want to get. I want to move this over. Sorry for a different camera angle. There we go. But um, overall, 
very nice well done figure uh, i'm liking these war for cybertron kind of these guys in the back and yes i think i'm gonna have problems transforming this guy because look at them legs you're seeing that's right there's a pin here pin here pin here there's a joint there there's a uh, there's a bunch of stuff there's a foot swivel there's a hip i think yeah hip swivel but uh, overall let's check out the um let's check out the figure itself its head it's on a i think it's a ball joint yeah ball joint ball joint on the head look at that face sculpt though look at that noggin i'll find you no i'll kill you <laughs> uh arms can do a full three oh or i, I guess not I can't. Can I do a full? Nope. Arms can only go back that much. Arms can only go forward this much. Before everything starts getting its way. Fists are on a, a swivel, actually. They're on a swivel. Holy crap. Um, hip. Hip swivel. Bend at the knee. Bend at the thigh. Swivel at the thigh. He can kick out. Like Jackie can. His foot. Is like on the weird hinge, it's down, up, side, side. And I think that's about it for the uh, overall simplicity of them. Let's get to the weapons. He's here to fight Prime. All right. These two weapons, um, yeah, they're supposed to be held, but then they can combine, like, that become a big weapon. And what I'm thinking is, certain parts of it peg in, and then it still swivels. But what I'm thinking is, is this one goes on top right here, and then these hook up to the sides. Like that, and then you have a gun. And it's just rotating like crazy. Oh! Even better, you can hold it like you can have it like that, and then peg it in. Like this side right here, flip it, and then peg it in. And then you can have it. Like this can t technically be taken as a double wield sword since it has pegs on the sides. So you'd be like, like that, and just. Be like Star Wars, that one guy, where he has double bladed. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have some fun with this. But uh, overall, here's this helicopter rotator, which don't know how that's gonna go on, but we'll figure it out. Let's get the weapons to the side. See what we can do with the figure itself, because I have not transformed this thing one time. Just opened it out of the box, so. Let's get these hands going. Okay. So we got what, panel, panel. Wow. I know this is going to come undone. <laughs> what do I do? There we go. Figured it out. So, I guess that opens to a certain extent, and then the flip of this, there's, there's so many things you gotta rotate here, there we go, uh -huh. and then rotate that out, rotate this out, getting it, getting it, and then flip this down, come here, and these arms, I'm thinking they're gonna... Voila. Voila. And then, oh my god, his... Everything's gonna start collapsing. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. Where does this go? Right here? Yep, right there. Alright, so you wanna flip this up. Right 
Or tape it down. I'm trying to figure this out here. Because now we can flip out these bits. Ah, oh, like it's weird. Okay, so this rotates all the way down, pegs in. There we go. Okay, then these are going to flip up, cover up that, and then... These hips have got to be moved. Okay. Now for this, I think that's going to go sideways like that, so I can go peg in. Figured that out. Shoulderly speaking. Flip this out, flip that out, and then rotate everything towards the car itself. Okay. Now, since we somewhat got the uh, half of the vehicle done. Figure this out here. Rotate that up. These feet. Let's figure out these feet. Okay, so. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's rotate that. Rotate this. Flippity floppity. You on my property. something out because there's a panel right there too there's a hinge right there <laughs> okay because these legs are like really weird <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna start uh, folding things I guess which I'm currently lost this guy's really really weird I'll fold that back in then. Rotate this back. Get to go down. Okay. What I'm thinking is this is going to rotate. This is going to. I think I figured it out. Flip these panels right here on the inside. Get it right there out. And then we're going to push these wheels and everything upwards, which they should peg in to the arms. As you can see, this peg right here pegs in right there. Okay, now time for the vehicle itself, which currently I am puzzled. It's weird. You gotta flip these out, rotate these out, and uh, huh? I think I just figured something out. Hmm. <laughs> I knew there was something weird going on. Okay. So, yes. They decapitate. So you can... I think you can rotate them, can't you? No, for some reason they got them like that, so that's got to tell me something. So I've got to flip in like that, and then... Flip it to where it's... Uh, 
sure I think it will work to get her. This guy is really difficult. And... Alright. Figuring it out. Lift this up. It's a long video because I'm trying to figure this out. Move this out the way so we can get this rotated back up. Hmm. Figured out the front part. It shows like there's a peg right here. And I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing going. I think I just figured it out. Move everything out the way. Rotate this like this. You gotta get where it's foot inwards. That way you can come on down. Right, and then we can eventually come together. Come on, I know you need, I know you want to come. On. You need to combine. Get that. Rotate it back, and it has to peg into them feet. Come on. Now you're annoying. Yep, so these hands are gonna rotate forward. Yeah, you gotta get the peg in. Okay. This should just go up where this whole cab should just rotate down. Okay, figured it out. That comes down. Big wings. Okay, figured it out. How it's supposed to look, and now we can peg that right there, that right there, that right there, Bob. 
Wham. Wham. Figured it out. <laughs> but overall, very, very lovely. Lovely figure. And if you don't want to have all this combined, you can leave the turbines right there. Take these off, grab them, and then these are going to have slots on the sides of the blades like this. That way, if you don't like the turbine mode, you can just combine all the weapons in one good big package. And then you can just go out fighting enemies like that. Or if you don't want it hanging out that far, you can just sit right about there. Wham, and just go at it, just shoot them and drive. Dun 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 dun. But those are all the combinations for this figure right here. So we're gonna remove everything and put it back in robot mode. So, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the arms, pulling them out the sides, then coming back to the front up per torso area, flipping all this out, getting this undone under here. Flipping that out, and then you come in. Come on. You need that. There you go. And then there's a. Okay. I picked that all in right there. And then get that going right there. Pull this up. And there you go. You got pretty much you got the whole entire upper torso ready to go. I don't know what the heck that is. I think that's the uh, secure port for it. Yep, that's a secure. Okay. And now what you want to do is you're going to come up here, grab these bits right here, detach them, rotate them, flip, and flip again, and then flip this in. And then there should be a peg right here that's going to peg in right there to make the arm secured. They should peg in, or should put somewhere, I mean. That ain't right. Hmm. Alright, so there's like pegs right in here. You have to hold them on to to put them in. So, yeah. And then that just going to peg in right there. And over here, hold that. Peg in. There we go. And then now, uh, second thing is first, rotate the arm. Pull all this back to where the shoulder belly goes up. Rotate it behind the wheel well. Fold those back down. There you go. And then the legs. And these are gonna split them. Come on, come on. And then you know, just get all that cool beans going. Take it all in and rotate this out. Take it in. Grab the foot. Rotate it. Rotate it. And you want to grab this. Flip it up. Peg it in. Rotate down. Flip. Rotate. And then these legs, what you want to do is you're going to flip by the thigh and then rotate them up like that. If you didn't see that, rotate at the thigh and then you're going to pull like that and push. Pull and push like this. There you go. And voila, you got him back in robot mode. And if they come undone again, I'm going to hurt you. And that's about it for the figure himself. But first and all, and all for one, put the backpack up. And then, 
There you go. You got him all back in his robot mode and his shiny, deliciously good-looking glory. I really like this. I really like this figure a lot because of the detail and everything he has on him. But till then, thank y'all for reviewing this figure with me, and thank y'all for being here. And there will be a video on them guys shortly. Good day.